Hi everyone, it's Judy here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be creating a look with the Juvia's Place Wahala 2 eyeshadow palette. I actually just realized the other day I have not actually made a makeup tutorial creating a look using this palette yet. And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I already have a swatch video and like a mini review kind of video on this palette already up on my channel. So if you do want to see the full swatches and just see that video, I'm going to leave it linked down below and up here. Now, just briefly, it can be quite confusing when you look at a palette with full of bright, beautiful colors and you think, I'm just, I don't know what to do. I just don't know what colors to pick. And sometimes you just need to slow down, take a deep breath and just look at it and just look at the color story, look at the color theme that's going on. So when I did that, because I'm saying this from experience, I have had a little freak out. I'm like, there's just, whoa, so many colors in this palette. Didn't know what to do. So I slowed down and actually had a proper look at it. So if you look at each row, and maybe this is just me, maybe you picked up on the color story straight away, but maybe this is just me. But I had a look at it and I saw that each row from top to bottom or bottom to top, each way you look at it, is a color story. So there is pinks and purples, maybe a little peach there for transition, browns, orange, uh, more of a green. Then we have a blue, we have a violet purple slash blue, and then a cool uh, white silver glitter type color story. So you can create looks just using one row on of each, um, just each row of eyeshadows, if that makes any sense. And then within each row, you have the mattes for transition work, deepening up the look. Then you have the shimmers for the overall eye, like eyelid cover, and then a glitter for maybe a little bit of pop of statement in the inner corner or in the middle of the eyelid or whatever look you're going for. So the palette actually is very, very well thought out. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna maybe just like pick one row and create a look out of it, which is a bit of a shame because I would have liked to, I mean, there's no rules here. I can create any makeup look that I'm thinking of, but I think I'm gonna stick with, I'm gonna play in this safe zone right now and just create one color eye look using one row. And then maybe if you guys want, let me know in the comments, uh, if you guys want to see any further makeup tutorials using um, another row of colors in this palette, then leave it in the comments and I will make that for you guys. Let me know I'm hearing you. Um, just a little bit of real talk. I'm gonna put a timestamp here if you wanna skip straight to the tutorial part. But for those of you who have been here on my channel for a while, um, I'm kind of struggling with my YouTube channel. I don't quite know in what direction it is heading. I don't know if I want to quit it or not. Uh, I do kind of want to keep going because I've already invested so much time and effort and love into this channel. And there are so many amazing people I know that still watch because you guys still comment and I know you're still around. So hi, <laughs> thank you. Um, but I don't know, I think I just need to find a little bit more um, inspiration and passion for this again. Also, it doesn't help that I don't wear very much makeup anymore. So there's that too. <laughs> but anyway, those are just some thoughts going through my head. I just wanted to soundboard off you guys and just let you know what I'm thinking about my YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. So. Um, I'm gonna get straight into creating this look. I think I am going to create a look using the greens and if that's the case I might utilize some of these shimmers in the blue road as well. So and maybe some of these in the inner corner I don't know I will I want to create like a one color look but then integrate some of the other colors Maybe from the other rows. So we'll see how I go. Let's get started. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing um, And yeah, let's do this <laughs> Okay, I know Juvia's Place has just released a brand new eyeshadow primer and I am actually so keen to use that primer or just to buy it and use it. Um, but I have been not, I've been on a no, no, no <laughs> let me start that again. I have been on a no makeup buy ban for a while now. I haven't actually bought any new makeup other than my BoxyCharm. So my BoxyCharm is just a monthly subscription service, which I get every month or try to get every month. <laughs> I've been getting BoxyCharm, but I haven't really been buying any new makeup. Juvia's Place, I know they've just released eyeliners, which I do want to try. Eyeshadow primers, which I do want to try. 
Um, but I'll get to that when I get to it, I suppose. So for eyeshadow primer today, I am just going to use some of the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. It is a fairly light color, but again, I want a lighter color because I'm going to be using some brighter colors on my eyelids and a lighter color on the base is going to help with that immensely. So just gonna pop that one in. And like I said, I'm gonna be using the green row in the palette and I don't quite know what kind of look I'm gonna create yet. This is a little bit of an experimentation process <laughs> on my part with you guys. So I suppose it's just a matter of seeing what I come up with, isn't it? <laughs> wow, my eyelids look so cute, <laughs> so sexy. <laughs> I just took that concealer in the middle of my brows as well because I've got a lot of redness there. So a little bit of concealer doesn't hurt. Okay, I'm gonna be taking this fluffy blending brush. This is the Morphe E22 and I'm gonna be starting to build up my crease. And the colors in this palette are quite vibrant and I just wanna go in really lightly. So actually maybe this isn't the right brush to use. Might use a bit of a smaller tip to brush. That This one is the, this is just an e.l.f. blending eye brush. And I'm gonna take it into the shade here called Jealous. And I'm going to start to create maybe like a halo type look. So I'm gonna blend this on the outer corner and the inner corners of my eyes. And then we'll just see what happens from there. <laughs> I'm not going to pick up any extra product on the brush and I'm going to gently join the color at the arch right here. That is just one color that I've worked with and it's blended in really super beautifully. So now I kind of want to maybe deepen up the edge there a bit. So I'm going to take this tiny little pencil brush. This is the Morphe E36. I'm going to take it into this shade here called Egbami, E-G-B-A-M-I. Uh, and I'm going to just dip it into that. And I'm going to run this along the outer edge of my eye and kind of deepen up the outer corner as well. I'm also going to take some of that in the inner corner of the eye as well and just deepen up just absolutely like right in the inner corner there but not take it up as far as I did that first shade. It was actually shade Jealous. Did I say that? I think I said that. I'm just trying to really create some depth and dimension with this color here, which is why I've layered this darker color on top of that first one. Pretty, so pretty. I love that. I did kind of want to have a little bit of contrasting color kind of with on the outer part of this um, halo type thing I've got going on here. So I actually want to take this fluffy blending brush into this shade here called Wasted and just dip it very lightly into that and start to blend this around on the outer part of that halo and that just might give me a little bit of a like a, a different type hue color I suppose. It's not really coming up super vibrant, but then again, I'm not really dipping it into that color very heavily. So I guess it's just a matter of building up and blending in that color. Mm, it's okay. It's not as vibrant as, you know, it makes out to be in the pan. But then again, I am kind of blending it into a darker, more cooler toned shade so I guess it's just a matter of building it up and yeah I don't know <laughs> it was good to try a different color anyway it's nice it's just kind of to blend that color out I guess into something else rather than it just ending into like a stark contrast of my skin so yeah not too bad I suppose Okay, now for what I believe personally to be the most fun part of this look and that's to fill in the center of my lids with something shimmery, something glittery. So what I'm going to do with that is I haven't quite figured out yet, <laughs> but it just, it's just only right I suppose to go in with one of these shimmers. So this one's called Hater and this one's called Venom, but hmm, 
I think I might actually go in with some of this shade called Venom and just press that on the center of my lid. I'm not gonna do any like cut creasey type thing. I just wanna do like a halo look. So I'm gonna pick up some of that on this flat packing brush. This is just an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And I'm actually gonna wet that shade with a bit of setting spray and just apply that to the center of the lid. Oh, that's pretty. That is so pretty, I love that. I'm just gonna mainly focus this right in the center of my eyelid. And then I'm gonna take that small pencil brush again and dip that into this shade here called Lust and start to blend those edges in. So just kind of ombre that shimmer in with the darker outer color, outer edge colors that I've got going on there. So just marry those two colors together. I love that so much. Oh my goodness, that is stunning. Love that color. <laughs> I'm really super loving the direction that this look is headed in. <laughs> I actually want to take some of this glitter shade here called Goals and just for the sake of this look and using more than just some of these colors, I'm going to take some of that on my finger there and I'm going to press that in the center of my eyelid. Just see if I can give myself like a little, little something, you know, a little something, something. Mm. I feel like that's actually picking up the shimmer rather than laying down the glitter. I think maybe this glitter does need a glitter glue. Anyway, mm. don't know if you can really tell on camera. It does kind of show up on my eyelid in person, but it, it's again more of a gotta be here in person to appreciate it type thing. It's a very chunky glitter as well. As you can see, it's picked up a lot of the shimmer rather than laying down the glitter itself. So mm, I just thought I'd try that. It's nice anyway. I'm actually gonna go in now with the rest of my face before I complete the eye look. And I think I actually will talk through with you guys what I'm doing on my face um, rather than just speeding through it as I normally would in this portion of the video um, because I haven't done it in a while and I suppose it is a makeup tutorial. So, as it is right now, we are coming into the middle of winter and I am actually struggling, struggling a lot with really super, super dry skin. So I did a lot of skincare before I got on camera, which is why my face isn't a crusty ass mess. But I know that once I apply makeup on top, the dryness is gonna start coming through as it wears throughout the day. So I'm gonna really go in with a lot of primer before I go in with my foundation so it doesn't look cakey and dry and flaky. So, as far as primer goes, I'm gonna be using this Glam Glow Super Mattify Six Acid Clarifying Primer. I know it says mattify, but what I am using this for mostly is to kind of like smooth out the skin and fill in the pores, and then I'll go in with some facial oil. After this, kind of, kind of, kind of, <laughs> kind of counterproductive, but trust me, I've done this before and the result was quite good. <laughs> um, but yeah, my skin has been so incredibly dry over the last few months. My skin never used to be this dry, but ever since, um, I don't know if I told you guys about this, but ever since I had a run in with a, with a, uh, what's the word, expired skincare product, I used like a um, chemical exfoliant, like it was expired and it dried the absolute heck out of my skin and this, my skin hasn't been the same since. Now it is so, so dry. It definitely disrupted some sort of pH balance in the skin and now I am paying for it. So if you ever suspect that your skincare or your makeup or any type of product is expired, please don't use it. It's not good for your skin. Okay, now that I've applied that, I actually got this in one of my BoxyCharm unboxings. And yeah, I'm actually really super loving that. Now I'm gonna go in with some Good Molecules Ultra Hydrating Facial Oil. And this one I'm just gonna apply over the face, just like you see in those Instagram videos. <laughs> I do it for a reason. I'm not just doing it for the gram because this is clearly not the gram. <laughs> and I'm yeah, I'm just gonna use this sponge to press that oil into my skin. My most problematic areas is the center of my face here and especially on and around my nose as well. 
So I'm really focusing that oil in there to keep my skin hydrated. If you guys actually do want to purchase Good Molecules, 100% recommend this skincare line. I've been using them for such a long time and if you want to purchase from them, there is a link down below through which you can purchase. I use Good Molecules skincare morning and night. I would say noon but I'm usually at work during the day. <laughs> but yeah, definitely recommend. I use the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It's actually been such a lifesaver for my super duper dry skin. And then I use also this sil silicone free priming moisturizer which is basically like a facial moisturizer but it's great to wear underneath makeup as well. 100% recommend Good Molecule Skin Care. Absolutely love it. So there you can see I've pressed all of that prep into the skin and now I'm gonna go in with some foundation. I did want to try this L'Oreal Age Perfect Anti-Aging Radiant Foundation. This is probably for more mature skin but to be honest my skin is coming to a point where it feels like it's quite mature and I'm hoping that this is actually my shade. This is in the shade 350 Sable Sand. Hoping it is my shade. It's probably just a little bit too light for me but that's okay. I'm gonna deepen up the skin with some cream contour as well. I've been finding myself gravitating more and more towards cream products for the face rather than powders. With my skin being so super dry, I'm finding that I'm loving using cream and liquid products more and more. Like not powdering my face as much as I used to or even at all. Like normally I would powder under my eyes after I've contoured but I don't really do that anymore. Not contoured, concealered. <laughs> it kind of creases like a tiny little bit but once I've pressed that concealer, not contour, once I've pressed that concealer into my skin really super well, it doesn't really need to be set. So that foundation blended in really super nicely. This isn't actually my go-to. I'm only just trying this out today. The coverage isn't super heavy which is fine. I don't mind that at all and it's blended in really well with my skin. It's not actually too bad of a match to be honest. I just want to apply a little bit more to kind of give myself a little bit more coverage. So while I haven't been using a lot of setting powder on my complexion, like on my face, I've just been making sure that I'm really pressing the product into my skin and then that just ensures that the product isn't sliding around which means I don't need to set it with powder because I've really well and truly pressed it into my skin. And then I just had to ensure that I cleanse my face really super well <laughs> at the end of the day and remove all that makeup. Okay, I suppose that's well and truly pressed in. I love the luminous finish of this foundation. It looks really, really nice on the skin and I'm not having a great skin month or year at the moment anyway. So the fact that my skin looks nice with foundation on top of it is actually a lot for me right now. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy about that. As far as concealer goes, I actually wanna use some of that Juvia's Place concealer again under the eyes, but just be aware that this concealer goes a really, really long way. So you don't need very much at all. As you saw before when I applied it on the eyelid, it was just a tiny little dab on each eyelid and it went a really super long way. This concealer is so incredibly pigmented. So like you can see there as I'm blending it in, it's going a very, very long way. So I'm just gonna press that into my under eyes and then we'll go in with some contour. I really wanna introduce some warmth back into my skin. So I'm gonna be using this Juvia's Place uh, Cream Foundation Stick. This is in the shade Dominica, and this one I'm going to use to actually just provide some contour and shape and warmth back into my skin. I thought Dominica was the darkest one I had, but I actually have a darker one still. And this is in the shade Addis Araba. Ababa. Addis Ababa. <laughs> and this is actually a bit darker. So this one is okay. I'm going to leave that on the skin. First one's applied a bit of warmth. This one will apply a bit of shadow. So it is slightly darker than the first one, which is great. Not very good at contouring my nose, as you can see. <laughs> I need a little bit of highlight, just like right in the center of my nose. So I've just got some of this Flower Beauty Concealer. 
apply a little bit right in the center there all right i haven't done makeup in so long i feel like i'm out of practice <laughs> I want to bring a bit of blush and warmth to the cheeks and I've got this Milk Queen New York Air Cotton Tint so it's kind of like a cream to powder type product and I'm just going to apply a bit of that to the back of my hand and with a sponge I'm going to apply this to the cheek not a, it's not actually that subtle is it? <laughs> it's just a bit of warmth to the cheek so it actually smells like lollies I got this from Stylevana. If you guys want to purchase through Stylevana, you can use the code INF10GEEKAI to save money off your order. This is a really, really cool product. It's very subtle, but it definitely still brings a bit of that color that I'm looking for to the cheeks. And I like it because it's a liquid product. It's not cream. Uh, it is a cream. It's not powder, I mean. And it just applies so nicely to the skin. It's actually blended beautifully on top of the other makeup that I've got going on there. I am feeling like I do need to brighten up under the eyes even just a little bit, just that slightest little bit. So what I'm actually gonna do is take a light cream type eyeshadow, and I'm gonna actually take the Tati Beauty eyeshadow palette and take the matte aura shade here, and with a small blush, bl brush, <laughs> I can't speak today, this is the M433. I'm actually just going to lightly pat this under the eyes just to lighten up a bit because I feel like under the eyes has darkened up. So I'm not using this eyeshadow to set anything. I just want to brighten up under the eyes just that tiny little bit. And that's already made such a difference as you can see there. I'm going to take that some of that on the center of the nose as well and also very lightly dab that in the center of the forehead. So I'm really just going in with a little bit of a highlighting moment here but like with a matte shade not a shimmery thing i feel like this look is coming together really super nicely but now i feel like i need a little bit more bronzer just for a bit more warmth and contour to the face i suppose and for this i actually want to use a new product that i got in one of my boxy charms I forget which month it was, they all blend into each other now these days. But this is actually a pure palette, 4-in-1 Skin Perfecting Powder Face Palette. And look at that stunning looking palette. It's actually so pretty. I haven't used it yet because I wanted to actually um, <laughs> take photos of it, but I haven't done it yet. So here we are. I'm just going to dip really lightly into this bronzer shade here. Ooh, she's very, very strong. Don't need much don't need very much at all. So just blend that in. That blends in really super nicely. Wow, didn't need very much at all. Probably have already gone overboard with the face. But that's also the part of me that's saying that. Hmm, what am I trying to say? The part of me that's saying that is the part of me that hasn't worn makeup like this in a long, long time. <laughs> so. That'll do for bronzer. That was nice. I like that. If you guys want to see a makeup haul or like all new makeup and skincare that I've received over the past month from BoxyCharm or from Stylevana, let me know. I'll make that video and I'll put it up here for you guys. I feel like I've got enough blush. I've got enough bronzer. Now I want to just do a little bit of highlight. This for that one, I'm just going to grab something that I have here and I've got the Juvia's Place Tribe Volume 3 highlighter. Take that on a sponge and just highlight the high points of my face. Ooh, so pretty. This highlighter never gets old. I've had it for a while, but I never ever get tired of using it. You can do it like a really heavy shine, but it's nice to just blend it into the skin and just give myself a little bit of a glow. There we go, skin looking really nice and glowing now. All right, now I wanna finish off the eyes. So I'm gonna take this tiny little pencil brush again and be taking that into the shade here called Jealous. I'm gonna blend this under the lower lash line and then under that I'm gonna take it into the shade Egg Bami and then blend this but just on the outer corner of the eyes. I'm gonna take some of this shade called Shakara on a brush, just a small tip brush, and I'm gonna use this as an inner corner and under brow highlight. I 
want to go in with a bit of eyeliner so I'm just going to be using the Maybelline Master Graphic Eyeliner and applying a really thin application of liner on the lid and then I'm going to go in with a really good layer of mascara for that one I'll probably just use my go-to the Hamish Smudge Proof Mascara from Stylevana. I love it. I just can't find it right now. Okay, I don't normally wear white eyeliner in my waterline, but I actually feel like this look kind of calls for it. So I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliner. Whew. All right, now I will go in with mascara, but I'll probably do that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I think the last step on this look is lips. And I think I want to go in with the Juvia's Place Red Lip Collection. I'm going to leave the review and swatch video that I did for the Reds and Berries Lip Collection in the description box down below. But for today, I'm going to be using the Luxe Lip Liner in the shade Ruby and then going in with the satin lipstick in the shade called Rogue. And I just feel like red would go really nicely with this look, I suppose. kind of overlined and overfilled my lips but I'm low-key not very mad at it at all <laughs> watching I actually had so much fun using this palette the shades blended in beautifully built up really nicely uh, the glitter is still hanging on in there even though I didn't use any glittered glue to apply yeah beautiful if you guys can get your hands on the Wahala to Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette I would definitely recommend I think it might be a limited edition like the first Wahala one was so get your hands on it while you can. I think they might have some sales going on at the moment. And even if they didn't, there's always coupon codes floating around. I, would, I use the Honey app or the Honey extension on my browser to find the best coupon codes. But yeah, love this palette. Again, swatch video is also linked down below. And um, I suppose that's all I really need to say about this palette. And that's it for this video. <laughs> if you guys have any requests or questions, comments, concerns, Leave them in the comment section down below. I will respond to you with a video or a comment or whatever. Whatever your comment calls for. I'm here for it. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really truly appreciate you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. Thank you again so much. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.